Yo, 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 what is up, what is up, YouTube, Box and Family, uh, shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC, TWT family, um, it's Kay right here, um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Gervonta Davis's recent police arrest, and the aftermath after his, uh, bond was, uh, taken care of, and his exposure of his, uh, girlfriend's accusational claims that, uh, Gervonta Davis was being, um, hostile towards her. And yeah, um, for the very first two uh, clips that I'm showing to you at the beginning is showing the police call that Gervonta Davis's um, girlfriend had uh, went through in the event of what happened in the situation and the police, you know, call. And then the second one that was, you know, at the beginning of the video was the um, evidence that Gervonta had shown. Um, right here where his girlfriend sped on, you know, spit on his face and, um, you know, apparently she destroyed, uh, you know, some valuable, you know, items inside his house and he got, you know, attacked by, by his girlfriend. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, this is clear proof to show that Gervonta Davis, you know, he's innocent until proven guilty. Um, you know, this is also disgusting as well. Um, uh, like like in this photo that i had showed you know at the beginning of the introduction of the video um i am showing this to you now uh this is a uh, you know photo proof to show that his uh baby mother or his girlfriend i will say i'll just say ex-girlfriend because you know she she she's definitely gonna be an ex you know if she does you know stuff like this to your children and treat you like crap but yeah gervonta um you know he's standing up for like um he's standing up for himself and i'm i'm happy for him because um i really thought gervonta he was um he was basically guilty in this situation but looking back at the information um he's not he's um, he's not guilty uh by no means necessary um he's definitely innocent and i think that this is definitely just casing casing point to show that you know, Tank, he's not, he's not doing anything wrong here, uh, for those of you that want to know the real situation behind this, uh, Gervonta got arrested, um, you know, not too long ago, I think, like, you know, two days ago, or a day ago, um, I wish I had, like, the police, uh, report on my phone, but basically, uh, Tank was being accused for a, you know, assault battery, charge or some form of an assault charge that most likely got dropped and he didn't do anything wrong so you know this is out in florida um i live out here um in the area but he lives out in uh i would assume broward county uh i don't know where that is i think he's probably boarding miami but either way um gervonta he got accused for something that he didn't really get in trouble for it. I mean, he didn't even put his hands on the woman. And you could easily tell that, you know, if he was really like the culprit, he definitely would have never posted any photos or no evidence to, to prove to the rest of the world of like what's happening, you know, behind closed doors. So I think, you know, that's a very big of Gervonta to do that. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me find out the photo on my um, Instagram. But I definitely have the uh, evidence right here. Hold on, give me. All right, I'm back. So yeah, this is the uh, police report. Shout out to Boxing Ego for uh, coming out with all the information and all the other channels like Blue Blood and everybody else. But basically, um, he got hit with a charge number one, um, or uh, basically, I, I believe that's his, you know, number for the charge. But his statute is a 784.03-1A2 um in which i think that is basically equal to uh, domestic violence or assault and battery or bodily harm um this is out of uh, the parkland agency which is in broward county in florida but um i find this very weird because um you know people people really like jump to conclusions right away but um how is it so weird that 
he gets a charge for it before he basically gets no judge to come in front of him to give him you know the uh, charge so i think if anything that's just really stupid because it just shows like how like really um retarded police you know departments are when it comes to trying to get people locked up for wrong you know um reasons but um i by no means don't know the situation uh, behind closed doors but i think if anything uh gervonta davis with him having his fight with hector garcia next saturday just clearly shows that you know there's like a lot of you know weird un um unanswered uh situations in terms of like you know what's going on between him and his girl and just people like around him that you know want to you know take advantage of him or just use him you know as like a target for him to be you know um unlawfully attacked you know uh uh by the state so i think this is really evil i think this is messed up um i for one thought gervonta was like a bad person just by just by looking at the situation but then once i actually looked in deeper i was like okay you know what tank is like a good tank tank is innocent you know by you know standing up for himself and he has like enough valuable evidence to show why you know he's not you know the culprit in this situation and it looks to be that his girlfriend could be you know the you know uh, the uh, culprit out of the entire situation to set him up for him to be you know separated from his children or for her to just i don't know just try to get him locked up and try to use anything from any state law enforcement to try to get him hurt and I think for stuff like that, that clearly shows that uh, women out of that mindset that are very childish, they were never ready to become mothers, you know, in the first place. Um, I have nothing but disrespect for them. Um, I don't respect a woman that disrespects me. Um, I respect a woman that respects me for the core values of giving me, you know, some form of honest, you know, maturity and not being a absolute psychopath to think that it's okay to take advantage of us men but um i just think it's really dumb that gervonta had to go through this and if anything if there's anything that gervonta could use out of his legal attorneys to put this in court against his girlfriend that use this as like a means to try to get him locked up unlawfully um that should definitely be like a sue you know case you know where you know he should sue her and she should go to jail for it i think i think honestly for a false arrest or a false alarm uh that's something that should definitely be you know like acquainted for or adjudicated for uh gervonta um i'm not a lawyer by any means necessary but i do study you know what the law in terms of you know what i look at in certain you know laws and rules and obligations you know that the state follows especially in certain you know certain states that have different laws and policies but um as much as i don't give two craps about statism it's you know it's obviously a little sad hard truth that you know you should always you know study like your laws you know wherever you go but um yeah uh for gervonta davis um he deserved uh, to be you know considered innocent you know in this situation um i don't think the police were right in arresting him and sending him to you know whatever county jail that he had to probably spend overnight or at, or at least i would probably say within just like a couple hours because um remind you gervonta he got released off of bond for uh 10 percent out of a thousand dollars which you know anybody with like, the right mindset knows that if you really got put in jail for a really bad heinous crime like you would very well be put in a much higher bond status and what you guys like uh, for those of you that don't understand how bonds work bonds are basically political offerings that the state gives financially to free someone out of jail so like for example it, like in the state of new york if you like uh they have like a law in place where if you punch somebody or you vigilantly do something crazy that puts you in jail uh before you get sent to a uh, federal or you know um, whatever type of prison center that puts you you know at a much higher uh con like you know concealed you know how should i say um um locked up facility uh to be to be sentenced you know obviously by a judge for your crime um 
they have a policy in which you know you can have a uh, get out of jail free card type of thing where you know let's just say you know if i murder somebody uh somebody could bomb me out or bail me out um it's basically like a bailout policy law that some crazy ass lawmaker you know came up with or whoever was able to get that together but basically um there's a like uh, there's a policy in which if you do something in in terms of a really crazy crime you're able to get out of jail on the same night of your crime so like if i hit and run and kill five people with my car i can technically get out of jail for free if somebody bails me out you know without the money that i can have given to them or whatever i can do to you know get out of jail because like you know there's like you know certain people that actually do that where like you know i'll even say with uh chief keith right um you know he's had multiple instances where he's done really crazy things in terms of like hurting people and he gets sent to jail you know on the same day and then you know his like you know his friends or whoever got money you know uh, they go over to let the jail uh to free him and he's able to be freed by you know the like like by bond money so uh that's basically what a bond is you know if you don't want to see a judge to get bailed out or to potentially go through your sentence and then you have to do your time then that's not the better way of saying that you could bail yourself out by putting down the money for the state that offers a price tag for you to get out of jail uh, depending on the you know certain standards and certain principles because obviously you know, they're not going to, like, let somebody off of the hook right away if they got off of, like, a, you know, massive bail for some crazy crime, whether that be murder, uh, you know, let's just say rape, theft, um, you know, doing terrorist, terrorist, like, attacks, obviously, uh, that's probably, like, a much higher level in terms of scalability to try to get out of jail, especially, you know, if you're, like, a foreigner in the, um, United States trying to, you know, commit, like, a terrorist attack, um, that's not possible to do. Um, like as far as what some people go through in terms of what they believe in, um, in that mindset or motive to be evil. Um, if you do anything like that, you know, especially at the domestic level of you being a, a citizen, um, nine times out of 10, you're most likely going to a federal, you know, penitentiary and probably they're never going to bring a judge right in front of you until you probably serve a couple years within time of your sentence in which like i would need to like look at what the policy for that but like all i know is like any crime to like the level of which like you've done something like really messed up in terms of like let's say you punch somebody and then you take like a bat and then you like assault like 50 people inside like a bar like like you know stuff like that you know the state holds major bonds for people that can that can be offered for those criminals to be get yeah to be basically taken out of jail and they're able to walk free either tomorrow or that same night but if you're not able to do that then you have to be sent to a judge to have your court case and then you know the judge can make that decision to say okay i can let you off the hook but i'm going to give you probation on top of you having to pay you know some form of like service of like community service for 50 hours or something like that like i'll even use um shakur stevenson um like uh when shakur stevenson when he got uh unlawfully well i wouldn't even say unlawfully when he <laughs> obviously got sentenced for his assault case that he had down in like what uh i think it was in uh, uh miami or somewhere out there in florida but when he hurt somebody that he ended up fighting um what happened was that uh shakur and david grayton in which david grayton um i don't i don't like him as a person just as far as like his attitude and motive you know as a fighter but for him to have somebody like that around him and this is young Shakur Stevenson compared to now you know he's not like you know he's not like the same person but still like Shakur he had just no discipline in his motive of what he was doing as a fighter and it wasn't good because it's just like you know when you think about it like you know you put yourself in harm's way of you being you know a, a potential victim 
you know, for the state to come after you, to use you as like a means to put you, uh, to uh, put you down. So I think either way, when it comes down to it, um, Shakur, um, when he got sentenced for his crime, uh, what ended up happening was that, you know, obviously like, I don't think anybody would like, you know, would have been able to bail him out in which, um, I think, you know, even with Jay Prince, you know, as, you know, as scummy as he, like, you know, as scummy as he is, like, he's, you know, he's definitely like a major puppet, or how should I say, he's a major mastermind puppet to basically turn, you know, the clock on certain fighters' careers, but, you know, even with his power that he can do with trying to get fighters out of legal trouble, you know, there's only so much that, you know, a person of his caliber can do to actually you know get somebody out of jail or you know keep them away from legal trouble but either way um i think it just pretty much shows like you know with a person of shakur's caliber when he got arrested he got put on blast for everything that he got sentenced for in which he was able to get out get out you know cleanly in a certain manner where he didn't have to do any jail time but he was on a one-year probation and then you know he had to do 50 hours of of a community service so i mean that's not like a bad deal but it was just like honestly that's just crazy because you know that means that you know you have like the cops you know you know peeping peeping at you you know you know bothering you and then also you know you don't have any freedom to do what you want to do because you have to report to your police officer f like you know for for the probationary period to be you know completed but like, I think, I think either way, you know, it just shows that the, like, like, you know, the immorality of how the state operates, because, uh, for me, at least, you know, when I looked at certain, you know, uh, certain people that have been locked up for certain crimes, especially victimless crimes, you know, that can even go, you know, at a much grander scale, um, those people that have to suffer under police um oppression though those people go through a much wider range of being taken advantage of versus those like a gervonta davis type figure people that have like a lot of money and they are such a big name but i think like when it comes to the black american population in america that's like the biggest target that the state feeds off of because they feed off of like, the ignorance and the stupidity of what black people are being viewed as as a you know as a group of people but i think when it comes to tank davis um gervonta he's not he's not like the type of guy to really put himself down as a you know as a um whatchamacallit like he's not the type of guy to put himself down as a bad person i don't think so and i think based off of what he's done in the past um yes you know you could make an argument to say like he you know he did some really crazy stuff with his homies when he was going at going to bars and he was he was trying to be like wild in his um you know in his event of having you know having like a good time and just enjoying life but i think now with this much older version of him i think gervonta is a way more uh collected individual and i think um gervonta he's shown a lot more you know responsibility after he had you know his uh children so i think i think gervonta is looking at the future as look boxing is not a forever time sport but when i do make this big money don't screw it up because this is your life savings this is all the money that you're trying to max out until you're like okay let me retire before i get old enough where i could potentially hurt myself in the sport so i think with gervonta's um you know abilities as a fighter um He's a very, he's a very talented fighter that has a lot of great years left in him, but I understand where Javante is coming from, where he's like, he recently said, like, after he exposed his girl, he like, you know, he was just basically saying, you know, I'm low key not wanting to fight anymore because, you know, y'all could have this shit because I think, I think Javante understands like, like, you know, where the mode is coming from now with the aftermath of this situation, like people are now looking people 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 will now look at gervonta as a thug they're gonna like like they're going to th think that gervonta davis is is just a bad person he doesn't take care of his kids you know uh they're going to do anything to try to put him down but 
I think of Gervonta, if he can get through that portion of his life and, and he can at least keep himself together until he's like, you know what, look, I'm not I'm not going to deal with this no more. That's perfectly fine because Gervonta, he doesn't need to give back to boxing. Boxing needs him for what, like, you know, for whatever, you know, expectations that Gervonta wants to, you know, accomplish. But I think, honestly, at the um, end of like, the day, um, it just clearly shows that, you know, Gervonta, um, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's definitely had, like, enough with like, the media trying to, um, uh, how should I say, trying to, trying to bash him. And, um, I think, uh, you know, it's just messed up, you know, it's messed up how he's being put down and how, you know, he doesn't have, you know, any, uh, what should we call it? Um, he doesn't have any, you know, um, um, he doesn't have any like media protection in terms of like what, you know, he's trying to go through. So, I just think it's really messed up with how everything's being prioritized because if anything, uh, you know, it, 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 it just clearly shows that, you know, Gervonta, you know, his, you know, his imagery is, is, is a lot more, uh, destructive with the amount of criticism that he gets now. And now people are, are going to, to think that Gervonta, he's a woman abuser. And it's like, it's not, it's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like Gervonta, like, like I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say Gervonta's, you know, perfect because nobody's perfect in the world. But guess what? For people of a Gervonta Davis type of, you know, mental temperament, I don't, I don't ever throw that label onto Gervonta to think that he, like, you know, he's like a bad guy because I know, I know like, you know, Gervonta, you know, he, you know, he may be portrayed as, as some like guy that hangs out with his homies to think that, you know, he's some hood rat person, but I don't think so because Gervonta Davis, when he was even starting out in boxing, he like, like young version Gervonta, he was not no criminal. He was hanging out with Errol Spence. He was hanging out with all the guys that were chill, laid back that just wanted to be successful like Gervonta Davis like that's the type of guy that I respect out of him because he was not a bad guy to begin with but people started throwing this label onto him uh, to think that he is a bad person he can't he can't do no right he has to be viewed as this kid from Baltimore where people throw this label to think that Baltimore boys have to be viewed as a you know, like, you know, as like a warlike type of, like, you know, type of person. And, you know, they have no morals. They don't have any means to actually be better as a man or woman, you know, depending on, you know, what their, like, you know, upbringing is as a child goes. But still, it's like Gervonta, Gervonta has not shown anything like that. He hasn't shown anything of him being a, you know, him being a irresponsible individual that puts him in harm's way to be, you know, to be a potential, you know, victim for, uh, how should I say, uh, to be like, to be a potential victim for, um, ignorance out of his, you know, rough childhood that he's dealt with. And, and, and I just don't see it in him because I know Gervonta Davis, he's changed a lot, but from what I've seen out of his growth, at, like, you know, as a person, I'm not going to sit here and say Gervonta is a, you know, messed up individual because he's not. Gervonta, he's chill. You know, he's had a very great, you know, life as far as what he's doing now. And I think this is only getting better for him if he does continue his boxing career and he goes beyond forward with what he needs to do. So I think honestly, man, I'm proud of what Gervonta has done for boxing. And I hope Gervonta, um, he can definitely get away from his girlfriend man because you know if he can gain custody of his children and him and his children can focus on you know like him having like his own place and he could just do whatever he needs to do uh that's definitely the right th you know like the right you know motive of how should i say getting your life you know together in the right um like you know um in the right direction so yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say, man. Like, I don't have anything else to really say. Um, I hope everything with Gervonta gets cleared up real quick. 
I think he's going to be considered considered um, um, innocent. And, um, you know, it's just messed up that us men, we have to be taken advantage of or we have to be, you know, basically um, punished so hard by the state for crimes that like for crimes that wasn't even done, basically. So um, I think, honestly, all these women that really take advantage of statism to use against men that are simply trying to get by in life and try to be successful uh those women are just evil and very disgusting people but you know i'm not i'm not throwing that like i'm not throwing that label onto every woman you know there's you know plenty of nice women out there but i'm not gonna sit here and say that you know people pe like people like uh um like gervonta's girlfriend uh vanessa pozo i think that's her name but um yeah, she's not she's not a good role model for like like for his children. So I think Javante he needs to move on from her and uh, kick her out of his life and just uh, continue to keep knocking everybody out, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think Javante Davis is a guilty person, or do you think um, his girlfriend definitely set him up to be a failure in this situation to try to get him hurt by the state? Uh, let me know what you guys think, and, um, yeah, man, that's about it, man, but shout out to Gervonta Davis, I really hope the fight is still on, I think I heard that Gervonta, he got, you know, he got bonded out for 10% out of a thousand dollars, so it's basically like a hundred dollars, and, you know, like, I'm pretty sure that money is going to be paid off right away, but it's like, you know, Gervonta, you know, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't need to be with that woman no more, man, so, um, I think, I think if anything, the fight is still going to be on and um yeah you know hopefully we get to see everything um you know come like you know come together so yeah uh that's pretty much it um i will see you guys later and let me know what you guys think about this opportunity or i wouldn't even say opportunity but this situation at hand so i'll see you guys later thank you thank you guys very very much and um yeah i will see you guys soon and yeah um i will uh see you soon and um yeah i will talk with you guys later so salute to the mighty mighty ldbc and twt family i am out and goodbye this is k 435 signing out peace out bye